we have odds array. We want to write code that creates an array named odds. So we'll do int, it's a array. So we were gonna have our brackets is called odds and it's equal to a new type of array. Um, and it stores all odd numbers between negative six and 38 into it using a for loop. We want to make the array size exactly large enough to store the numbers. So if we are going between negative six and 38, what we can do is just add six and 38 together. And this is gonna give us a total of 44. And once we have our 44, we can actually divide this by two and we should have a size of 22. So we have, should have 22 odds in here. Now, if this doesn't work exactly, or if we have different numbers, you could play around with the sizing a little bit. You could use your IDE and go through a debug. And what that would do is you would run through the for loop when we create this and we would see the size if that's another thing you can do or you could just do the math out and solve it initially like that might want to do that if your for loop would be too big so we can end this line here and we'll make a for loop we're going to start at negative six so we're going to need a different counter and we'll increment this every single time outside of our for loop we'll make a int counter and we'll set it equal to zero just initially and this is so we can go from zero index to the max index of our, of our um, array. Inside of our for loop, we are going to have an initial number in a is equal to negative six. That's where we want to start at. Now we're gonna run this as long as a is less than our 38, right? Because if it's greater than our 38, we want to break out of here. So as long as it's less than our 38, and we're gonna increment this every single time. Now, because we only want the odd numbers, we're not just gonna increment this every single time, we're gonna increment it twice every single time. So the first time we look at this, a is equal to negative six. And we want to store it into our array. Well, we can't have it at negative six, so we have to do a plus plus. Now a is equal to negative five. Let's store that in here. We'll have odds, and then we're going to have our counter, which is just going to describe what index we're at. And we're gonna set it equal to a. We're gonna also want to increment our counter when this is done every single time. And we're going to just end our for loop like that. So let's go ahead and submit this. We passed one out of one test. Now I believe we can try doing this where we just increment A when we go through here. And see that fails because it's giving us even numbers since we only have one incrementation right here and we can't increment it when we're storing into the array. It doesn't work like that. So we're going to have it have this out here. And we're just going to store it in like this. And that is going to pass our test for odds array.